What up y'all, Charges Truther, coming to you. I don't even know what day it is, but Tom Telesco and Brandon Staley just got fired and I'm just so happy. This is, you know, I'm, I'm really happy about the Tom Telesco firing. Brandon Staley, I knew he was gonna go, but Tom Telesco had been here 11 years, no division titles, no real success, just pain, just suffering, and he just somehow was able to stay um, in this franchise and he's just been this freaking leech loser building such weak rosters with no depth undersized lack of physicality lack of aggression and this is really what's plagued this team and what's held us back um, and I've said it in all of my videos you could watch it in all of my videos I talk about Tom Telesco um, the number one priority for this team has always been to fire Tom Telesco. This guy is a loser. And if you let losers run your team, you're going to be a losing team. And that's what we witnessed last night when the Raiders kicked the crap out of us. Um, it was the worst game I've ever seen. But you know what? It, it led us to a good thing where Tom Telesco was getting fired. So honestly, I got to say thank you, Raiders, for putting us out of our misery like that. Um, and, and forcing change, something that I've been trying to do so hard with this Chargers Truther thing. I've been trying so hard to force this change and change is finally here. So here I'm drinking some coffee um, because it's a new day. This is a new day. I'm waking up with a smile on my face. I'm happy as hell to be alive right now. I'm happy to, to look out and enjoy life right now. And most of all, I'm happy to have hope for this Chargers team for change, for reprioritization of the roster, of the traits we look for in leaders and in players. You know, now I wanna, again, prioritize size, physicality, aggression, depth, balance. We're not, I don't wanna any longer be just a Justin Herbert passing the ball team. I wanna be a balanced team. We're gonna run the ball down your throat. Justin Herbert is obviously, obviously gonna hit you you know, in the past game when it's convenient, but not out of necessity, which is what Tom Telesco has been forcing these poor quarterbacks to do. So cheers. Hot as heck. Ironically, I'm actually in Las Vegas right now because I'm meeting up with my family here and just, I was really just here to have a good time. I didn't go to the game or anything yesterday. I've never been to Las Vegas, but um, it seems like a cool place. And honestly, I'm, it just made it so much, so, so, so much better to hear the news um, today. And again, uh, this is probably like my happiest video. I'm just so fucking happy. I feel like I just woke up on Christmas Eve. I feel like there's fucking a sea of presents on the floor. Like I'm just dancing. I'm freaking doing like a little dance fucking all around the house and stuff like that. I feel like rejuvenated and um, I think that a lot of Chargers fans are feeling similarly because we know how badly things have needed to change for so long so now the question is <clears throat> you know who are we gonna hire who's gonna replace them and honestly as far as the general manager I it I mean I'm looking at the assistant general manager for the the 49ers I forget his name actually unfortunately um, but someone from the 49ers that can you know come from a winning culture and instill that winning culture into uh, the Chargers instill the balance the physicality the 49ers are a very physical team um, someone with experience in a successful franchise is what we need um, and you know there's people out there we can do it but at the end of the day I would have rather had a fucking goldfish as our general manager. I would have rather freaking rolled dice to make the decisions because this general manager, Tom Telesco, was the fucking worst thing, the worst person, the biggest loser. This guy has no spine. When he goes to the chiropractor, they're like, I don't know what you want us to do with your, with your back. You don't even have a spine. Like, I can't even crack it. Like, what do you want me to just rub your skin? There's no spine here to, to, you know, work with. That's what happens when Tom Telesco goes to the chiropractor because he doesn't have a spine. He's freaking weak, and um, it's just sad that he's been able to trick this team for so long into letting him, into paying him, into letting him have the power he he had. Um, but those days are finally over, and Jesus, I I just haven't felt this joy since my firstborn child was born. I'm just kidding, I don't have a child, but I'm, 
I'm assuming that this is probably how it would feel. Just happy as hell, man. As far as Brandon Staley, um, I honestly didn't think he was that atrocious of a coach. I think he was given a shit roster by Tom Telesco, just like Anthony Lynn before him and Mike McCoy. Mike McCoy is kind of a loser also, but there's been three coaches now that have failed under Tom Telesco. It's a pattern. It's not, you know, it, it um, you know, tells you that there's something deeper. There's a deeper problem, which was Tom Telesco. And finally, you know, obviously the Spanos, but at least the Spanos finally showed some balls in firing Tom Telesco, this freaking damn loser. Um, and yeah, I, I've just said it so many times in my videos, this needed to change. And, and it changed, guys. It, it finally fucking changed. So, I mean, yeah, obviously we're not going to expect to be Super Bowl next year, but we still have Justin Herbert. We still have some pieces. Um, we do need to flush this roster down the toilet for the most part, like 90% of it full of Telesco guys that are weak, undersized, underperforming, busts, um, JT Woods, freaking, you know, um, I don't know. Th these got Spiller, Obanya. There's a lot of guys on this roster that came from Tom Telesco that just are not good. And it's a big reason why we suck and why we got the crap beaten out of us <clears throat> by the Raiders. When Right when Justin Herbert goes out, we're, we get murdered. We get embarrassed. We get demolished because Tom Telesco sucks at building a roster. And he let Justin Herbert cover his ass because he knows, everyone knows how good Justin Herbert is. But... Again, that's a bullshit way of of building a roster. You don't rely on one player to cover your ass because you suck. Um, and and finally, he was exposed when Justin Herbert got out. It's really sad that Justin Herbert had to have that surgery on his finger. We don't know how you know lingering that's going to be, how long of an injury. Like maybe that's going to be a lifelong thing. You know, um, just sad, just very sad. Um, and that's because Tom Telesco sucks at putting together a roster around him, forcing him to throw 40 to 50 times nearly a game. Um, no run game, no balance, just weakness. <clears throat> but, you know, today was finally the step in the right direction, the step towards change that we all needed. And we got to be happy that it was a step in the right direction. We're not going to just let these fucking loser as general manager you know and white collar workers hide and continue to collect checks and hold us back um and yeah i feel like my mission is somewhat accomplished here this is mainly what i came here to do to call for tom telesco to be fired um so it's gonna be interesting to see where i go from here where you know will the next general manager be him you know, will I feel the need to criticize him like I did Tom Telesco? The wins and losses will prove that. The wins and losses will decide how I, you know, feel about everyone. Winners win and losers lose. And, you know, that is really all, all there is to say about that. So excited for this new era. It's going to be sad to have to finish this roster out with no hope. Um, we're like five and nine, completely horrific season. Three more games. Um, really uh, just sad for the players that still have to play those games and get you know injuries and stuff like that for pretty much nothing it's wor It's not you know they're meaningless games but gotta try to finish this game out if, if I'm the, the whoever's running this team now I'm forcing Telesco players to play the entire game Quinton Johnson, Spiller, JT Woods um, and I'm resting Keenan Allens I'm resting Austin Ecklers and you know, I'm resting Derwin James and um, our stars. Khalil Mack is not playing if I'm running this team. Um, just letting Telesco lose their ass players and his roster finish this game out. And we'll see really how fucking bad he was. Because I've known how bad he was for like five years now. He's a shit fucking general manager. Built a shit roster. Um, but... It's over now. It's all over now. And I really could not be happier. Cheers. I feel like a new man. New era of Chargers football. So fucking happy. 
I'm waking up to the sunlight, you know, and um, I want to go freaking kiss people. I want to go do cartwheels in the in public. I want to just start singing in public randomly. Just start singing out loud, cause out of pure joy, um, and that's it's a nice thing. It's a nice feeling. So. Screw Tom Telesco, get a new general manager in here with good priorities, needs to have good priorities of size, physicality, and strength on our roster, and we can go to the Super Bowl with Justin Herbert. We can do it. This was the right step. So thank you, Chargers Truther. I'm out. I'll still be here making videos, and um, just so happy and excited for our future. Thank you.